happiness is on your surrounding in the name of Jesus. Every now and then, you got a, a, a thought that brings you happiness sometimes. But in the name of Jesus, when that, when you need that peace, in the name of Jesus, you need something from a touch from God, that's the only one that can bring the true joy in your life in the name of Jesus. My husband could go buy me a brand new car. Guess what? After a while, that car going to get old. Guess what I'm going to do? Parking in the garage. Guess what? I'm going to be going on by my business. They ain't worried about the new car. But when God comes in your life, he's going to bring that joy, unspeakable, everlasting, everything, what you need, the hope that you need in Jesus. And, and we got the dance today, man, to keep our mouth closed when there's an opportunity to praise God. Y'all don't hear me. Hey, man, I'm not going to wait, hey, man, for somebody else to praise him, hey, man, for somebody else to pray for me. Hey, man, I'm going to praise him for myself. Can you shout glory? Yeah. Come on, shout glory. glory. I said, I'm not going to wait for somebody else to praise him for me. I'm going to praise him for myself. Yes. Hallelujah. If you just would bow your head, hey, man, for a moment of prayer before we get into the word of God. Father, we thank you thus far for moving by your power and by your might. God, we pray that even through the word of God that you would anoint these lips of clay, God. That, Father, that as we pray, God, as we go into, amen, the word, amen, that you would break and destroy every chain this morning. In the name of Jesus, every sickness this morning that we cancel it, God. We put it down through the strongholds of your son, Jesus Christ. Take authority, God. In the name of Jesus, this morning, as we pray, God, we ask you to allow your angels to walk up and down the aisles and to meet the needs of the people of God this morning. Somebody need a turnaround this morning, God. Somebody need a hand touch this morning. Somebody need a miracle today, God. We pray, God, that you would turn that thing around today. And that you would work it out for them, God. In the name of Jesus, bring them out with a praise. And bring them out with a strong hand this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, say amen. amen. Come on, say amen again. Amen. I do want to let you know that there is a word, amen, this morning that God has, amen, for you. Somebody say it's for me. Amen. Come on, somebody say it's for me. Amen. Come on, say it's for me one more time. Amen. I'm going to say that one more time. That is a word that God has for somebody in this place. Y'all ain't going to get me praying. Amen. The enemy's been fighting against, amen. I was in prayer, amen. I said, well, God, you done brought me to the scripture once before, amen. But he tells me this morning, while I was in my prayer this morning, that that is some folks, amen, that need to be encouraged. Somebody say encouraged. Encourage. That needs to be encouraged, amen. Because let me tell you something. When you are disrupted or when you in despair or depressed, you can't do nothing. Amen. When a person is depressed, amen, they dysfunctional. Y'all ain't going to help me, y'all. Amen. amen. When somebody is depressed, amen, they can't properly, amen, get to what they normally do because depression has stepped in. Y'all ain't going to help me praise them, amen. Yes. It's with, amen, we're going to be going this morning, amen, to 1 Samuel, for those that are, amen, viewing this morning, to 1 Samuel chapter 30. Somebody shout glory. glory. Come on, shout glory. 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 That's when, amen, when somebody is depressed, amen, and if you can allow God to use you to encourage somebody, amen, you will see where God will start bringing them out. Come on, shout glory. 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 See, it's when we get a hold of something, amen, that makes us turn from where we've been. Y'all ain't going to help me pray. Amen. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you this morning, amen, don't wait, hallelujah, for somebody to tell you you can make it, amen, when you know that if God done it then, Amen. He can do it again. Y'all ain't going to help me. If you can just look back and see where God has brought you from and look and see where you at right now, amen, you start beginning to realize that if my God, somebody shout glory, I feel the that if my God brought me from where I was at the way I used to be, somebody say the way I used to be. See, sometimes you got to tell your own self, amen, this ain't me. Amen. Y'all ain't going to help me. Some folks say, man, allow the devil to make them walk around with their head down, make them walk around complaining about things that they know that God got all power and can turn that thing around. Be all right. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the songwriter said that when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, y'all ain't going to help me. Yes. My soul cries out, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I thank a God that can bring me out whatever I am, whatever my situation might be, that he's well able. Can you shout for me? Glory. 
Come on, shout glory. glory. Some folks got money in the bank, got brand new cars parked outside their house, but don't have enough faith and believe God to bring them out. Yes. The situation that they don't yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. I'm going to yes. say it one time. They got money in the bank. They got a brand new car parked at the house, at the house with a job making money with benefits. But they ain't got trust and faith and belief that God can bring them out of what they end. Yes. Somebody shout glory one more time. Glory. Come on, shout glory one more glory. time. So he tells me, amen, that while I was in my prayer about 3.30 this morning, amen, that's when I seek the face of God, amen, 3.30, 4.30, 2.30, amen, to get a word from God. And he listened to me though this morning. He said, somebody. Amen. That's in the service. Amen. That's going to need to be encouraged. Why? Because somebody, amen, that God lets us know that the enemy is trying to set them back. Yes. yes. In other words, the devil trying to bring them back to where they used to be. Somebody yes. shout glory. Right. Amen. Because, amen, it's when we allow things that we have no control of. To start getting us in a place to where we start complaining. To where it gets in a place to where we get depressed. See, when you get depressed, you can't function. I don't believe it. When you get depressed, amen, you can't even pray when you're depressed. Amen. Because what happens is you get into a place to where when you become dysfunctional, you can't even focus. Somebody shout over it. Right. See, and what the devil does, amen, he steps in, amen, and start working on your mind to where he gets you dysfunctional, amen, and you can't start functioning or meditating upon where you going. Y'all may gonna help me shout. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 If you will, amen, those that have your Bible, turn with me to the book, amen, of 1 Samuel chapter 30. We find that in this particular chapter, amen, that David had went to battle. Amen. He comes back and finds, amen, the city burnt down of Ziglag. Y'all ain't going to help me shout. We're getting ready to go somewhere, y'all. But what I want to do is take a few minutes out this morning to encourage you, amen, that whatever you're going through this morning, that God is bringing you out. Somebody say, I'm coming out. Coming out. Somebody say, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Yeah. Because what God is going to do before this service is over with, amen, there's some folks that through the word of God is getting ready to be free today. Somebody shout glory. 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 Come on, shout glory one more time. Glory. Glory. Amen. Reading, amen, from 1 Samuel chapter 30, amen, from that first verse it reads, And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag, on the third day that the Amorites had invaded the south, and Ziklag smitten Ziklag and burnt it with five reeds. And the second verse reads, and, and had taken the women captives that were therein, they slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. In other words, they didn't do any harm to them, but they kidnapped their women and their children. And what they did is that they burned the city down while David was on the battlefield. Y'all may go help me shout. So it reads, amen. So David and his men came to the city. And behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters, the Bibles read, were taken captives. But the scripture reads, out the fourth verse, David says, amen, Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power, the Bible says, to weep. Reading, amen, the fifth verse, the Bible says, and David, two wives, were taken captive, and the norm, and Jezreelites, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelites. And the Bible reads, amen, in that sixth verse, it reads, and David was greatly distressed. Somebody say distress. distress. I want to key in again on that word distress. Because that word distress means dysfunctional disorganized. Amen. If you look up that word distressed. So the Bible said that David was distressed for the people spoke of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved. Uh -huh. Every man for his sons and his daughters. 
But the Bible said that David uh -huh, encouraged himself, amen, in the Lord. Somebody say encourage himself. Amen. The Bible said it wasn't until David encouraged himself. I want to keep back in on that word discourage. Amen. In other words, amen, I looked it up, that word, amen, discourage. 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 The word discourage. In other words, he was depressed. Amen. And when you're depressed, amen, you cannot do nothing under being depressed. In other words, some folks get depressed, amen, and go to the doctor. Because what happened is, depression brings on sickness. Y'all ain't going to help me shout. Amen. What happened is, amen, when you get depressed, amen, you get dysfunctional. And when you get dysfunctional, the enemy starts, amen, putting things sometimes on you that causes you, amen, not to get in the place where you should be with God. Y'all ain't going to help me shout. Amen. amen. So what he does, amen, is that David, amen, gets in the place, amen, and realize the Bible said that the people talked about stoning him. Why? It's because it was David that took the men to battle. And the Bible said that while they were going, Sister Janice, amen, is that they came in, and what they did is that they burned down the city. They took their wives and their sons and their daughters captive. And the Bible said that what happened is the people talked about Stone in David. See, whenever you a man been spoken or hear from God, amen, some folks will start getting mad at you. Y'all ain't gonna help me shout. Some folks, amen, man, will start getting upset with you. It's because now, look where I'm at. Look what you done allowed to happen. It's your fault. Y'all ain't gonna help me shout. The people start talking about killing David because David, a man, took them to battle. Y'all ain't gonna help me shout. See, what happened was, is that they didn't know, amen, is that when you serve a God, amen, that is over all, the Bible says is that what David did is that David began to get depressed. You know, when some folks, amen, start talking about you, amen, they start coming against you. Y'all ain't going to help me shout. They start coming against your children. They start coming against your wife. They start coming against your son. Amen. Some folks, amen, will start backing up and get a little depressed. It's because, amen, they came against his family. See, sometimes the enemy knows how to get close to you. Y'all ain't gonna help me shout. Can I get a witness in this yes. place? Yes. See, what do you do sometimes, amen? He more, amen, only try to get to you through your friends, but what do you do sometimes? He gonna try to get to you through your family. Y'all ain't gonna help me shout. Yes. Can I get a witness in this place? Yes. See, what do you do, amen? He'll start making your Folks, your kin folks start talking crazy to you. Can you shout glory? Great. It wasn't until, amen, they start talking of stoning David. See, all along, amen, it was all good. They come and they see that their wives and their children have been taken, amen, captive. See, sometimes when you're doing the will of God, you got people that are coming against you that's near and close. See, what the enemy does, I mean, he'll start making your very own the one that you birthed. Can I shop? Can I get it with him? He'll make the one that, amen, that you was raised up with. The one that ate at your table. Come on, shop, glory. Amen. Amen. The one that sit with you. Start coming against you. Hallelujah. When you take a stand for God. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, amen, that what happened is, is that what David did, amen, he start remembering that if God brought me out, y'all ain't gonna help me. Somebody shout me. Hallelujah. What he started doing, he remembered that God brought him out, amen, when he was, amen, in a position and he defeated Goliath. He remembered, amen, when God, amen, freed people that was bound by demons when David played the harmonica. He remembered, amen, that when he had laid with Bathsheba, amen, and lost a child and prayed, he remembered how God had brought him out. Y'all ain't gonna help me shout. Amen. See, what David did, David realized, Santana, that I'm not gonna do well on what people are saying. Can I get a witness in here? I want to get bring it home somebody. Man. See, what David did, the Bible says that he encouraged himself in the Lord. 
And sometimes you can't always get information from everybody that's going to encourage you. Because some folks ain't going to want to encourage you. They want to see you discouraged. They want to see you depressed. But yes. the Bible said that what David did is that he consulted God. Yeah. Yes. Can you shout glory? Y'all right. getting kind of quiet on me this morning. That's all right. So it reads, amen. Hallelujah. That meaning of discouragement follows, amen, of a kind of despair. The feeling that everything is wrong. Nothing will turn out well. See, discouragement is a spirit. See, when you entertain that and start dwelling on that, it'll make you believe you'll never get well. Come on, shout glory. Right. When you get discouraged, it'll make you believe that things will never get better. Amen. It'll start making you feel guilty, amen, of what you did, the decision that you make. See, what discouragement will make you do, it'll make you feel like you was wrong and everybody else was right. See, but it lets us know, amen, that that word discouragement, amen, gets you to feel like there's no communication, amen, with people. Amen. It makes you feel like you've been loved this hearted. Amen. It makes you feel an illusion. It makes you feel alone. See, that discouragement, man, let me tell you something. Discouragement can get you in a place, amen, to where some folks get depressed and they're going to them on all kind of medication. Amen. They mind don't be right no more. That's what, amen, depression sometimes can do to a folks. Amen. Somebody shout glory. glory. So it lets us know, amen. It wasn't until the Bible said that David encouraged himself in the Lord. In other words, say, man, what he did is that he encouraged, the word encouraged me, the, the uh, expression, rather, of approval and support. See, when you get encouraged, you can make it. Y'all ain't going to help me show. Yeah. See, what David did, amen, David knew. That if God had done what he'd done before, amen, he was able to do it again. Y'all ain't going to help me get started this morning. See, David realized one thing. Somebody say one thing. One thing. And that when you start realizing, amen, where God brought you from, y'all ain't going to help me praise him. If you start realizing, amen, that what God done for you, and you know if it hadn't been for God, you wouldn't be here today. If it hadn't been for God, you would not be here today. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. See, David realized it wasn't the multitude of people, amen, that he feared. But what he did, he started fearing God. He started realizing that the God that I serve, amen, it doesn't matter who come against me. I'm going to take a stand and I'm going to believe what the word of God tells me. Yes. So the Bible reads, amen. In that sixth verse again, we read it, but I want to read it one more time. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him because the souls of the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and his daughters. But the Bible reads, amen, in that sixth verse, David encouraged himself in the Lord. Then what he did, amen, the Bible said that David said to Abner, the priest, Amalek's son, I pray thee, bring me Tither the ephon. And Abner brought Tither the ephon to David. In the Greece, the Bible says in that 8th verse, And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? He answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt overtake them, and without fail, recover all. Somebody say, Recover all. Come on, say recover. recover. The Bible said that David, amen, put on an ephod, and what he did, he consulted God. Somebody shout glory. glory. And he got a word from God. The Bible said that God told David to pursue and to take off. Somebody say take off. Take off. Come on, say take off. Take off. When you come out depression, you got the authority to not speak to yourself. But you start speaking to your children. Y'all not going to help me shout. Amen. You start getting to a place of the jazz where you know what you say. I'm not going to live like this. I'm not going to live defeated. I'm going to live, amen, prosperous and victorious through the power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what he 
he does, amen, as we get to this other verse, amen. So the Bible says that what David did, amen, is that he consulted God. And see, when people get into depression, the worst thing that you want to do is consult someone else, amen, that can't really give you no deliverance. Some folks, amen, start going to everybody else but God. Somebody say, but God. God. They start going to everybody else but God. But the Bible said that what David did, I don't care who coming against you. Amen. I don't care how your situation might look this morning. Y'all hang on, y'all. I don't care what the story might be. I don't care what the report, I don't care what the doctor might say. Amen. It wasn't until David, amen, got the word from God to pursue. What you pursuing this morning? You're pursuing, amen, to get back what the devil has taken oh. from you. Y'all ain't gonna help me shout. Yeah. Hallelujah. You pursuing this morning to get back, amen, what the enemy has stole from you. Amen. Somebody shout glory. glory. David knew, amen, that the enemy had came in and what the enemy had did had stolen, amen, had taken, amen, their children and wives. Amen. So what David did is David gets in a place Amen. First of all, to hear from God. And what he do, amen, he does, rather, is he gets his men together with him, and he prays, and he goes back out to pursue and to take back what the enemy has stole from us. Can you shout glory? Glory. I don't want to rush too long, because i got a few minutes, amen. But amen, the Bible says, amen, in that ninth verse, so David went, he and 600 men that were with him and came to the brook of Besar, where those that were left behind stayed. But David, he and 400 men, for 200 abide behind, which were so faint that they could not go over the brook of Besar. But the Bible reads, and they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David. And gave him bread, and he did eat, and made him drink water. And the 12th verse reads, And they gave him a piece of cake, figs, and two clusters of raisin. And when he had eaten, his spirit came again to him. For he had eaten no bread, nor drunk any water for three days, the Bible reads, says, and for three nights. We find that one of the <coughs> Egyptians, a man, that were with Amen. The army that had, the Egyptians rather, that had invaded the city of Ziklag, one of them got sick. Yes. And the Bible said that what happened is, is that when he got sick, instead of taking him with them, they left him behind. Oh, now. God got away. God got a way of bringing his people out. So the Bible said that what they did is they left one Come behind on. that yeah. fell a man sick. Oh, Y'all ain't going to help me out. Yeah. So what he did, amen, is that they come upon him. He hadn't eaten no bread, drink no water for three days and for three nights. Somebody shout glory. God know how to bless his people. Come on, shout glory. So they give him bread. They give him some figs to eat and cook. So what they did, amen, is that David promised not to take his life if he would show them, amen, where the enemy's capital was. Amen. So what he does, amen, he tells him, amen, I'm going to spare your life if you show me. Somebody say show me. Show me where the enemy camp is. Y'all ain't going to help me. In other words, amen, he tells him to show me, amen, where it is, amen, that what I got that I'm going back to take. Somebody say I'm taking all. Somebody say I'm taking all this morning. I'm taking all this morning, Paris, amen. Somebody say I'm taking all. So he tells David, amen, I will show you where the enemy's camp is, Josh, if you spare my life. Somebody shout glory. So David made a promise to the Egyptian that if you show me, somebody say show me. See, sometimes, amen, what God will do, he'll use your enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He'll use your enemy, amen, yes. to bless you. Shout glory. Yes. He'll use your enemy. I'm going to say that one more time. I'll the Holy Ghost. He'll use your enemy sometime to bless you. Y'all ain't going to help me. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he takes David, amen. Let's read this. Amen. 
in the 13th verse, and David said to him, To whom thou belongest, belongest thou, and whence thou art? And he said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant of the Amalekites, and my master left me because three days I fell sick. <laughs> we made an invasion upon the south of the Chalonites, and upon the coast which belonged to Judea, and upon the south of Caleb, and we burned Ziglag with fire. And David said to him, Canst thou bring me down to this company? And he, swear, he said to me by God, Thou wilt neither kill me nor deliver me unto the hands of my master, and I will bring thee down to this company. And when he had brought him down, behold, there was spread abroad all the earth, eating, drinking, dancing, because of all the great spoil that they had taken out of the land of the Philistines and out of the land of Judah. In other words, hey man, the enemy was dancing, they was praising, having a great time, amen, on David's wives, sons, and daughters of what they had taken. But what they did not know, amen, that David, somebody shout glory, that David was to get ready to invade, amen, take back all and more of what they had taken. Somebody shout glory. Amen. In other words, amen, they was getting ready, amen, to take, amen, what they had taken, and they was going to, the Bible say, take all. They took everything. Somebody shout glory. glory. So what they did, amen, the Bible says, and David smote them from the twilight evening of the next day, and they escaped not a man of them. Say, save 400 young men which rode upon camels and fled. And the Bible says, amen, in the 18th verse, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. I get excited on that part of love. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The Bible says, and David and all the Amalekites had carried away. And David rescued his two wives. And there was nothing lacking to them, neither small or great, neither sons or daughters, neither small, nor anything that they had taken to them. The Bible said that David recovered all. Somebody say recovered all. He recovered all, Santana. Amen. And David took all the flocks, the herds, which had drayed before those other cattle and said, this is David's spawn. And David came to the 200 men, which were so faint that could not follow him. Who they, had, who, they had, who they had made also to abide at the brook Besar, and they went forth to meet David, to meet the people that were with him, and when David came near to the people, he saluted them. Yes. Then answered all the wicked men, the men of Bela, of those that went with David, said, because they went not with us, we will not give them aught of the spoil that we have recovered. Say to every man, his wife, his children, and they that may lead them away and depart. But look what David, David the Bible said, he goes in the enemy camp. Y'all yes. ain't going to help me shout. Hallelujah. All the things that you've been through that you lost, y'all ain't going to help me shout. The things, amen, that you've been held back from, amen, that the enemy had stolen. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The things that you were supposed to have that been on hold, somebody shout glory. Hallelujah. Amen. This day, amen, what God is getting ready to do is to release. Somebody say release. release. He's getting ready to release, amen, all the things that the enemy had stolen, had taken, amen. Today, amen, he said that you're going to restore and recover all that the enemy has stolen. Somebody shout glory. glory. Come on, shout glory. glory. And this morning, as we get ready to close, say, man, to pray, I want to encourage you this day that what God is doing, amen, is I got a word in prayer this morning. He's getting ready to step in so folks' life, amen, that the enemy has stepped in, amen, and stolen some things, amen, from you, amen, that God had already, amen, promised you before the foundations of the world. Amen. So I come to encourage this morning that what God is getting ready to do for some folks in this place, somebody say in this place. In this place this morning, he's getting ready to restore some things that the enemy has taken that you've been held back from for such a long time.
a lot of Would it be worthy to be praised? Come on, one more time. He's getting ready to turn some things around for you.